Hello and welcome to the 11th tutorial on the Cocos 2DX version 3 C++ tutorial series and in this tutorial we're going to look at positioning using the Bezier 2 method. This tutorial seems you've done tutorial 5 if you haven't don't worry there'll be a link in the description to the source code also you can just incorporate it directly into your project and there'll be another link in the description to the source code produced from this tutorial so I'm just going to go ahead and open up the project Once it's open, we're just going to add a busier config. So do cc busier config. We're just going to name it busier. And now we're going to do busier dot control point one. So we're going to add some uh, curve points. Equals point zero visible size dot height divided by two. And what we can do is actually duplicate this. Only a few things that we need to change. Change this to 300, put this as a minus. This control point 2 now. Do Bezier dot M position. So this is the position that you will end up at. It doesn't matter where it starts, the M position will be what we're going to state here because we're doing Bezier 2 and not Bezier boy. Equals point. I'm just going to put 200 and 100. And what we're going to do is do auto action equals busier to create. Now we first specify how long we want this action to take. It's going to put four seconds. Uh, and then we specify the actual busier config. So busier. And now I'm going to change to eight seconds. So it's a little slower. And now we just need to run this action. So my sprite run action. And then we specify the action we want to run, semicolon. Click play and we're gonna run it in a simulator. Sorry about that. Okay, as you can see, it's moving around the two control points. If we just go back, what you can see is it's moved around the first control point and then the second control point. So that's it for the Bezier 2 method. In the next tutorial, we're going to look at positioning using the place method. If you have any questions, feel free to message us at support at sonarsystem.co.uk. There will be a link in the description to that email or just message us at YouTube or just comment or find any way to get in contact and we will help. Also, there will be links in the description for the source code from this tutorial and the base source code that we used. And as usual, thanks for watching and have a nice day.